security checks in advance. Please remove your personal items. Up close experience with the clean. Opportunity. Let's check out the backstage of the Sky Splitter. Maybe there's something exciting going on backstage that you won't be able to see from the spectator seats. was qualified to participate. Luca, didn't expect to see you here. Frailblazer? Why are you here? What a coincidence! I'm here to compete! Um, though I really doubt I've got chance of winning. <laughs> Are you a friend of Mr. Lucas? Allow me to introduce myself. I am an interastral peace entertainment journalist in training, Carmella. I was supposed to follow Mr. Albert to cover the war dance together, but he's got a million things to attend to. So the tasks of interviewing the popular contenders and producing the special program fell on my shoulders. <sighs> These are huge responsibilities. I've been interning for so many years. If I screw this up, I doubt I'll ever get the chance at a full-time role. Ooh, the IPC sure is harsh. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. It's just my boss trying to mentor me. As long as I get some shots that'll shock and awe, I'm sure I'll be able to clinch a full-time job this year. I can sense the potential of a juicy program just through Luca alone. Really? I'm not so sure about that. Why did I choose to participate in the war dance? It's a long story. You two, let's take a walk. I can tell you all about why I'm here on the way. Nat, I... How long do I have left? Not long, Luca. Best brace yourself. Is there anything else I can do? You're already at this stage. Just eat whatever you like. Well, that won't do. I can't be gorging on garbage at this pivotal moment. It'll ruin my energy levels! <laughs> I know. You can't wait to join the finals of the Bellabog representative qualifiers. But Chapard isn't a pushover either. I've been hard at work studying how Mr. Chapard moves. Just wait and see. I'll defeat Mr. Chapard and be the first Bellabog fighter in 700 years to qualify for a competition in space.
Luca, you've always had this bad habit of taking a hit to exploit a weakness, but Jepard's much stronger than you. So remember, stay away from his punches. Master, you've been telling me that the entire trip. My ears are about to fall off. Fine, enough prattle. But don't let the need to win weigh too heavily on you either. Even if you don't make it to that Sianjo Lofu, you've made it to the final to fight against your part. That's enough to make anyone proud. That won't do! Luca promised Hook that he has to win the final and take Hook up there to see the stars be <laughs> uh, You sure got some daydreams on you, little one. Don't worry, Master Oleg and Pitch Dark Hook the Great. I'll win this for sure. Luca, you absolutely cannot lose. You promised to take me up to visit the Sanjo Lofu. Kid, you've really got to stop making promises to children. Never mind. He'll just pawn his iron arm if he loses, and take you up there out of his own pocket. <laughs> Mr. Jepard, I've always been hoping to fight you. There's no one in the overworld more worth challenging than you. I'm honored. I've also been raring to witness the strength of the legendary Luca Strongarm. Uh, I'm not great at conversation, so it's a good thing we're both warriors. We don't have to use words to understand each other. Well said, Luca. Let your determined desire for victory speak through your fists. Distant dispute! This ends here! Now you got our position is solid! Don't get cocky! Let's see some sparks fly! This is the future! I've lost. Mr. Jepard, you were better than me. Luca, there wasn't ever any doubt in your technique and strength. But you were too concerned with winning. And that prevented you from unleashing your utmost. Uh, uh, then what am I doing here if not to attain victory? That's a question you need to ask yourself. From my experience, a person's inner voices make far too much noise, especially so during safe and quiet moments. Ironically, the voices that truly matter often become audible only in moments of pain, discomfort, and peril. When perhaps you leave your cozy hometown and head to the unfamiliar Law Fu, you will find your answer. Hold on. When I reach the Law Fu? But. You won. Truth be told, I can't just drop my work and leave Bellabong. My reason for coming to this martial tournament was to verify if you were good enough to contend against competitors from other worlds. And now I see you're good enough. You're younger and more upbeat than I am. A far more appropriate image for Bellabong. Don't forget that the reason we're participating in the war dance is also to promote Urillo 6 to the rest of the cosmos. Luca, I'm entrusting the chance of attending the war dance on the Sienjo La Fu to you. Mr. Depart, please don't pity me. Chances must be earned fairly through our own strength. <laughs> you are mistaken, Luca. It is not pity. I am lending you this victory, and you will repay me by winning the war dance. I hereby announce that the contender who has earned the right to represent Bellabog in the war dance is... Luca!
Understood, Mr. Depart. Chin up. Let's go. We should head to Klopoff Fort and meet with the Supreme Guardian. Branya, uh, uh, hi. Sorry, I grew up in the underworld, so I'm not versed in etiquette of any sort. No need for formalities. You probably know nothing about the La Fu. The place you're heading to, correct? Let us take this opportunity to discuss it. I've always been a little curious. Though Yurlo 6 has restored contact with the outside worlds, we've always just been communicating with the IPC. Why are we suddenly participating in this fighter's tournament in this Luofu place? Not long ago, Bellabog's interstellar comm space resumed operations. A month ago, we received an invitation with a highly distorted signal. The Sienjo Lafu cordially invites Yurlo 6's warriors to join the war dance. We've just resumed outside contact, and the way the IPC describes it, the cosmos has long forgotten us. Why would the Xianzhou so eagerly send an invitation to a city that has been buried in time? My guess is that it's because we had communications with many worlds before the Eternal Freeze. Luca, have you heard of the story of Igor Haft? Oh, you mean the legendary warrior? Of course I have! I'll never tire of the story where he led the 8th Iron Legion and engaged in a furious battle against invaders from beyond the sky! That's him! When the Eternal Free subsided, Lynxy, uh, <clears throat> Lynx, took the opportunity to explore the ruins of the ancient city of Maslanitsa. A few months ago, she found a lone grave outside the public graveyard. The grave had no body, just a robot arm and a cracked pendant with an embedded gemstone. An IPC worker said that the arm was tech from the old world. As for the stone, it's a Sienjo implement called a Jade Abacus. Oh, I've heard about that. Miss Lynx thinks it's Igor's grave. That's right. The epitaph on the tombstone confirms that hypothesis. The fighter Igor Haft once left Yurilo 6 before the invasion, and then he returned home to join the resistance against the aggressors. No one knows what he did after he left Yurilo 6, and why he decided to come back. Uh, maybe Igor had been to the Shinzo? That's why they sent us an invitation? Maybe Igor even attended the war dance. The Shinzo people have long lives, so it wouldn't be something that happened long ago for them. Long story short, regardless of why the Xianzhou Alliance invited us, joining this war dance is of august meaning to Balabog. It symbolizes a chance to introduce ourselves to the cosmos once again, a heroic kingdom that survived both the Legion and the Eternal Freeze with tenacity. Also, if we can leverage this opportunity to establish an amicable exchange with the Xianzhou Alliance, it may provide us with more bargaining power when dealing with the IPC. Lady Branya, I'm not well-educated, so I don't really know such matters of grandiosity. All I know is that I must achieve glory for Bellabog. Well said. Oh, I almost forgot. Zila had other matters today and couldn't attend today's meeting, but she entrusted me to deliver a message. <clears throat> What's that dolt Japard up to now? Luca, you better fight like your life is on the line. If you lose, I'll make sure you wish you were really dead. The next day, I hitched a ride with an IPC transport vessel and arrived on the Xianzhou Luofu. The Supreme Guardian hopes that the younger generation can go out and see other worlds. So, she arranged for Lynx and Hook to accompany me. On account of the fact that the three of us know next to nothing about interacting with other cosmic civilizations, she even instructed Svarog to tag along and be our guide. I never thought that, while we were processing our entry papers at the Skyfaring Commission, we would run into another surprise. 
We've double checked. This invitation did indeed come from the La Fu, but after checking the stamp, this invitation was dated 400 years ago. 400 years ago? How is that possible? We just received this invite not too long ago. We can assume that this invite was delayed in transmission and only reached us after the restoration of communications. I'm afraid this Arumaton is right. You received an invitation that is 400 years late. So, we weren't invited. No, this trip has all been for nothing then. How am I going to explain this to Lady Branya and Mr. Japard? If I have hopes for me. According to calculations, the thing that we should be considering first is not emotions, but... If we are not invited guests, then we will be responsible for all costs incurred while staying here. Conclusion, we cannot afford it. You all misunderstand. The Sanjo La Fu is indeed hosting a martial arts competition called the War Dance. Whether you receive an invitation or not, anyone who wants to can register to compete in the War Dance. The sole distinction is that invited guests, upon qualifying through a test, get to partake in the prestigious Ringmaster's Challenge, facing off against the Sienjo Lafu's Ringmaster. As for ordinary contestants, they will have to participate in knockout stages and rise through the ranks to reach the ultimate stage of the Ringmaster's Challenge. To challenge the Lafu's Ringmaster? That's the ultimate goal for all the contestants? Hmm, <laughs> that's right. Although you didn't receive an invitation, you can still participate in the war dance. You'll definitely uh, have a chance to win and gain honor. But Mr. Svarog has a point. According to calculations, we can't afford this. <laughs> Money can't buy relationships. This invitation that's been delayed for 400 years must be a marvelous twist of fate. And since fate has brought you all here to the La Fu, we will not fail in our hospitality. Please be assured that I will report this incident and ensure that the Bellabog representative team receives the same accommodation and treatment as all other esteemed Invited guests. However, Mr. Luca, you will still have to participate in all the knockout stages and work your way up to the final stage. Really? At your expense? <laughs> the heart of the war dance is all about celebrating martial arts and fostering friendships. My friends, how could we possibly allow you to fret over food and the lodging. Thank you, Miss Chiquay! I'll treasure this opportunity! And just like that, by the grace of Miss Chiquay, I didn't die before achieving success! I just learned this old Shinzo saying a few days ago. Now, I've successfully become a competing fighter in the war dance! Luca, you are absolutely radiating with newsworthiness. I I've decided to follow you and report on your progress throughout the competition. <sighs> if only everything were as smooth as when it started. If that was the case, I'd have nothing to feel bad about. It's been days since I've registered. I haven't participated in a single match yet. Today's my first one. But forget about competing. I feel like I'm struggling with just normal, everyday life. I'm already halfway into the realm of needing help with daily activities. Why don't people accept shields? You can pay for things by just swiping a gemstone trinket? Why doesn't anyone look their age? I approached this girl with pointy ears to ask her for directions, and I called her little girl, and she got mad. She said she was over 340 years old. So now, 
I'm even afraid to talk to people. Oh, and meals. I'm really not used to the food on the Shenzo. Yesterday, I ate a bowl of chili oil beef offal stew for dinner. And today, I've been blowing up the toilet with my flaming rockets. <laughs> I feel you, Luca. I also can't get used to the food on the Sienjo. Miss Carmella, you can't get used to the food either? Uh, well, not exactly. It's because I'm an Intellitron. Huh. Uh, sorry, please continue. Anyways, this is the first time in my life I've felt so useless. I can't even do something as trivial as asking for directions. Thank you for comforting me. Actually, I did do some mental preparations. It's my first time going out to the world, but I didn't expect it to be so overwhelming that I can't keep my footing. Where are your Bellabogian buddies? Lynx went on an archaeological escapade. She wants to try to learn about Igor's history before he returned to Urillo 6 with that gemmed pendant. Oh, Sparog took Hook out to play. He's really good with kids. I'm so irate and I'm about to start my first match. I'm in worse shape than ever. The next opponents are several Cloud Knights. Oh, they're like the Silvermane here. Oh, why am I explaining this to you? You should know better than me. I'm the only one who doesn't know anything. Why not check out who your first opponent is before the competition starts? It's better than wallowing here, as it'll just make you more anxious. <sighs> Thanks for talking to me and cheering me up. Sure, I'll head off and meet my first opponent. Luca has regained his energy. Fool health revive, oh yeah!